Um, uh, yeah, it's still sinking in a little bit. Um, you know, winning any Olympic medal or competing at the Olympic Games is absolutely incredible. Um, so, yeah, really, ex- yeah. It has been, it's been a bit non stop. Um, so, yeah, I was down the course this morning at half seven and uh, I've been, been going since then, basically. Yeah, competed twice and, uh, yeah, no, get to, get to spread the joy. So, 200 meters is always um, closely contested. I mean, it's, uh, it's not um, an anomaly that there was one tenth of a second between first and third. Um, it happens quite frequently, so um, that's kind of be, to be expected. Uh, the race for myself, you know, I might be slightly slow out the gates, uh, but I hit it with everything I had, um, you know, and um, I can honestly say that I'm stepping off off the water or step after stepping off the water. I knew I'd left everything out there. I couldn't have done much more than than that on today. Um, so. Really happy with my performance. It's slightly added pressure, but it's it's something that you you learn to deal with, um, or I've learned to deal with over the last couple of years competing. Um, you are the one that they're looking at, the one that they're looking to beat, and uh, that in its way is quite a compliment, um, and it, it shows, reminds you, I suppose, of the journey that you've taken uh, and the amount of comp- accomplishments that you've managed to gain over your your time in, in the sport to date. Um, so. It's a little bit flattering in a way, but it, yeah, it does build that kind of anxiety a little bit, but um, that can also be a good thing in terms of driving you off the start line quickly or uh, pushing you down the back end of the race uh, to your full potential. Um, yeah, so it's something that you, you generally, generally learn to deal with, I suppose, over a period of time. What did you- uh, it's going to take maybe a couple of weeks just to reflect, I suppose, on, on this competition, and it's uh, a conversation that needs to be had and a decision that needs to be made with my family. So uh, my wife uh, and my daughter back home, because um, you know when you commit yourself to an Olympic cycle, it's not just you as an athlete committing yourself; it's the whole team behind you to support um, that, that kind of put themselves out of, out of sync to, to help you uh, achieve what you want to achieve. So that's going to be a decision that's going to be made between me and my wife, I suppose, uh, later on. It's, uh, it is a big commitment, I mean, but it's no more of a commitment than someone who works a nine to five job. So in my average day, I'd be getting three sessions done, um, you know, starting at 8.30, uh, getting up earlier to travel there, um, starting first session 8.30, 8 o'clock. Rather, 8.30, 8 o'clock. Um, next session will be about 11 o'clock, and then there'll be lunch, small break, and the third session will be in the afternoon around 2.30 or 3 o'clock. And then you get back home, um, kind of normal working hours, I suppose, it's a nine to five kind of job. Uh, and that is, I suppose the only difference is that's not bound by the weekend. So we work through weekends as well on, on occasion. Uh, if you need to get extra work done or you need to be somewhere, to compete or do something that can't be done in the week. Uh, you, you work through the weekends, I suppose. So um, yeah, something like 15 sessions a week, 15 or 16 sessions a week with, with Sundays off. Um, that's kind of, yeah, that's the kind of day in, day out. I haven't, I haven't actually got to speak to my daughter yet. I've got, uh, I've managed to get a small call in with my wife, but I've been nonstop ever since winning. Um, you know, you go through, the medal ceremony, you go through a lot of media bits and pieces, then there's doping control, and then you get whisked off to do a little bit more media. I grabbed a, a very short uh, phone call. She was quite tired because she was up very early watching, um, and I'm hoping to catch up with her a bit later on, um, probably before I go to bed, so it'll be kind of late afternoon for her um, back in the UK, and I'll probably catch up, and I'm yeah, hoping to catch up with a lot of people. My phone's been just absolutely off the rails in terms of uh, messages or congratulations, which I need to go through and reply to as well. So it's, uh, um, yeah, it's been pretty full on.